This question asked me to use Laplace transforms to solve this second order initial value problem. So to do that, I just want to take the Laplace transform of each term and then solve for f of s. So let's start with y double prime. Let's recall that the kind of general formula for the Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function is s squared times the Laplace transform of its parent function, so y. Let me go ahead and make that capital Y of s. Minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And I'm given both of those terms. y of 0 is negative 3. So it leaves me adding 3s, and y prime of 0 is 5, so I'm going to subtract 5. All right. And then the Laplace transform of 4y is just going to be 4f of s. Excuse me, y of s. So let's go and plug these Laplace transforms into the equation. And this equals 0. So I want to solve for y of s. Let's start by taking the terms that don't have a factor of y of s over to the other side. So s squared y of s plus 4y of s equals 5 minus 3s. And I'm going to, going to go ahead and factor a y of s out of these terms. which gives me y of s times s squared plus 4, and let's go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by s squared plus 4. Okay, let me move over here. So a sum of squares in the denominator tips me off to the Laplace transforms of sine and cosine. Let's go ahead and recall those. The Laplace transform of sine of alpha t for some constant alpha is going to be alpha over s squared plus alpha squared. And then for cosine, For some constant cosine of beta t, I'm going to get s over s squared plus beta squared. So I kind of want to separate this into two fractions, one with a constant in the numerator and one with a factor of s in the numerator. So this is pretty easy to split. I'm going to say 5 as the numerator of one fraction and negative 3s as the numerator for the other. So this one is good to go. When I take its inverse Laplace transform, I'm going to get negative 3 cosine of 2t. And then for this one, I'm almost there. I want the numerator of the fraction to be 2 because here I've got a 4. So I can put a 2 on top, but I need to multiply by something so that the numerator is still 5. I'm going to choose 5 halves. Right, so when I multiply, I actually get 5. That makes it a little easier to take the inverse Laplace transform. I have I get 5 halves sine of 2t minus 3 cosine of 2t, and that is my function y of t that satisfies that given second-order equation.